Hi, this is Dale from UV Pools. Today I'm going to show you how to test for total alkalinity in your pool water. Total alkalinity is the resistance of the water to change in the rise of pH. There are two reasons where you may want to lower the pH in your water. The first reason is, is you want to slow the rate at which pH is rising. The second reason is, is if the calcium saturation in your pool water is affecting your total alkalinity. All right, let me explain that a little bit differently. Total alkalinity is important in your pool water because it controls how quickly or how rapidly the pH rises and falls in your pool water. So say you have low total alkalinity, the pH will rise and fall rapidly with small amounts of adjustments. So say you're adding pH up or pH down, it won't take very much to change the pH level in your water, but it'll be hard to control. So say you add small amount of pH up or pH down, the pH in your pool water will actually swing out of range really easily. You might be testing it and it's really inconsistent. It seems like it's hard to control. So on the other end of the scale, if you have high total alkalinity, the opposite is true. It'll be tough to, um, to adjust the pH in your pool water. So say you wanted to lower the pH and you're using muriatic acid, you could be dumping a lot of muriatic acid and the pH won't be changing all that much. So some of the problems you could run into if you have low total alkalinity in your pool water is that the water could actually be corrosive or etch metal surfaces. Um, on the other end, with high total alkalinity, you could run into issues with cloudy water, um, high acid demand, like to lower your pH. So you'd be dumping in a lot of muriatic acid, trying to lower your pH uh, constantly. It seems like every time you add acid, you got to keep adding again and your pH just won't come down. Uh, that's, that's a symptom of high total alkalinity. Um, so it's important to keep the total alkalinity within range so that your pH stays consistent and it's also easy to adjust. So to lower the total alkalinity in your pool, it's a slow process. You have to add a small amount of muriatic acid to your water which will bring down your pH and then you want to aerate your pool meaning leave it uncovered swim and stuff like that and the pH will naturally rise so you're going to end up putting acid in the pH will dive in your pool and then it'll slowly come back up again once it comes up again you go down you add muriatic acid small amount again it'll dive down and go up and that's how you slowly lower the total alkalinity in your pool it could take weeks, it could take a month, it's hard to say. Um, on the other hand, if you wanted to raise your total alkalinity, you do it with baking soda. Um, so you add a bit and then um, you let your pH go back into range and you add a bit more and that's how you could raise your total alkalinity. All right, let's get back to the video on how to test your total alkalinity. So to test the, pH, or to test the total alkalinity in your water, we're using a Taylor test kit here. So the first thing you want to do is to clean out the tester. So we take some fresh pool water, shake it around, dump it out. You always want to dump it outside the pool and not any reagents inside the pool. So we take fresh water from the pool, take a sample, we fill it up to the 25 milliliter mark. So you add two drops of the first reagent, swirl it around, you always want to make sure the reagents are mixed thoroughly. Now we add five drops of the second one, which is green in color. Three, four, five. And you swirl that around. So that'll turn the water green. So do the actual test. Now we add the third reagent. So it's thoroughly mixed now. So the, the sample is going to turn from green to red at some point in time. So each drop of this third reagent is worth is equal to 10 parts per million in total alkalinity. So add one drop, that's 10 parts per million, 20, keep shaking, keep swirling it, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, so it's 70 parts per million total alkalinity, 80, 90, 100, 100 parts per million, it's slowly starting to change. 110, 120 parts per million, 
130, 140, 150 parts per million, 160, 170 parts per million, 80, 90. So we're at 200 parts per million, 230 parts per million, and we're very close. It's changing to red and then back to green. 240 parts per million, 250 parts per million. So, a couple more drops. So now it changed to red. So right around 260 parts per million. So that's on the high end of the range. You want to be between about 80 to 150. So with this pool, they'll want to lower the total alkalinity. So you do that with acid. Um, it's a slower process. It can take weeks or even a month. You'll want to add acid. The pH will naturally drop because of the acid. And then through aeration of the pool, you want to leave the pool cover off so the pool water can aerate, and it slowly will the pool water will slowly rise in pH just through aeration. You don't want to use a pH anything to affect the pH to bring the pH up quickly because that'll only contribute to the total alkalinity and won't help to lower it. So it's a slower process that'll take time. You just add a bit of muriatic acid a bit at a time, let the pH recover, and do it again. You so you keep repeating until the total alkalinity is down to within the acceptable range. Thanks for watching my video.